Okay, this is our V12 engine. Came out of a Series 3 E type. What we're doing is removing the cylinder heads. Now, normally this is a really hard job to do considering it's had 30 or 40 years of being sat in one place. So, as you can see on this side, we've already taken the head off. So, what we're going to do is show you how to do it with no damage at all. You'll notice on top we have our little puller, little being a slight understatement. This is called Merida. What we do is we jack up on the head bolts all the way down both sides. Now the key with this is to keep it even the whole way across. So when you're jacking it, you're out with the steel rule, making sure that you keep it straight the whole way. As you can see on the top, it's fastened down where the camshaft normally fits. So everything is kept completely level. What I'm going to do is show you how good this machine really is by showing you the head that we've already taken off. Now, this head here has been on here for about 35 years. And when we took it off, there was no damage whatsoever. Now anybody that's stripped an engine before will tell you that if you're stripping an aluminium block with aluminium heads and you use Fox wedges, you're bound to break something or mash something up. But with this little machine, there is no damage on the mating face at all. So what we're going to do now is have a quick look and we're going to break the seal on this head and start to jack it up. See all he's using at the moment is just a straight half inch ratchet and a socket and he's winding those studs down straight onto the head bolt. It's imperative that we keep it even. Here we go, we can see the gap opening up at the bottom. See the gap starting to open up now. It's not a fast process, but it is by far one of the safest ways with no damage to the head or the block. See the gap opening up around the bottom. Gap getting bigger. All the way down. What we'll do is in part two, we'll show you the, the head just about ready to lift off. As you can see, the gaps already opened right up at the bottom, which has saved a whole heap of time and effort. All with this one little plate, three quarter thick, the beast, Merida.